So you're gonna take a nice deep breath in and let it relax. Oh, wow. Okay, put your hands in your belly button and beautiful. Hello, Baltimore, it's Dr. Jeff Kalstein with Kalstein Chiropractic Office, your Baltimore area chi chiropractor. We're just gonna do a little palpation. And what, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for restriction in this glide from back to front that I'm going through. I'm taking my fingertips and walking up every level. See, like right there, Maddie. I, yeah, I, yeah uh -huh. that, that one doesn't want to move as freely as the other ones, okay? So to me, that's a, that's a restricted area or an area that's locked up. Technically, uh, we would call that a hypomobile segment. There's, a, there's another one right there. Couple right there, there. Dr. Yeah, Jeff, yeah, I don't know. I can feel it right there. There's, the, there's the biggest one right there. That's so frustrating. Yeah, I got it. Now, so just let's have, we'll just play a game here mm -hmm. a little bit. If if I put some pressure between your spinous processes, is that painful right there? Yes. Yes. How how about this one? Uh huh. Which one more? This that one. this one here mm -hmm. or this one? I think the lower one. This one right here. Yeah. yeah. Now, how about this one mm -hmm. compared to the one above? Um, the, the kind of the same? Both, yeah. yeah, equal. So what happens is there are nerve endings that go to the facet joint. The name of that nerve is the medial branch of the dorsal rami. So when the facet joints, those are the hinges that allow motion to occur, become restricted and congested, they irritate that nerve and that nerve also goes to the, in this area right between your between the uh, inner spinous space. So, so that that just kind of confirms that we've got an area that functionally isn't moving the way it should, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and the way we get that is that the spot right in there? Yeah, and the one you just pressed before that. Yeah. So the, the way we with the way we address that is we're gonna we're gonna adjust that, right? Now, I know you've been adjusted by some of the docs in the office. Do they adjust you with your face down and push down, or do they take you over to the table back there and adjust you with your hands over your head? Um, I've been adjusted both ways, but and, and typically face down. Which one do you find to be the most effective? Um, probably face down. Face down, okay, all right. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands on top of your head, you're gonna interlace your fingers, and they're gonna be relaxed, they're gonna stay like that for me, okay? and. You're going to drop your arms forward. You're going to drop your chin to your chest. And, and just keep your arms like that and come on back against my thigh. Yep, that's perfect. Right there. Now, so from this position, open your elbows, but keep your hands there. Okay. And, and have, you ha have you been adjusted like this before or no? Like once. One time. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So you're going to take a nice deep breath in and let it relax. Oh, wow. Okay. Good. That was perfect. Very good. Now swing your legs off. That was good. Okay, now let's go back to the room, okay? Again, just relax for me. Yeah. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. Relax. Lift your head up for me a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, that was beautiful. No, no, no. Well, you, you put tack, attach it to your shirt. Oh. Yeah, it'll, you'll, it'll pick it up. Sorry. That's all right. Yeah. ASMR, you know? So uh, again, Ooh, well, yeah. yeah, just relax oh, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, just relax. Yeah, I know what we're gonna do next. It's the same idea that I was doing before with your mid back. I'm trying to find out where there isn't a lot of motion. Is that is that a little uncomfortable right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and compare that side. Fine. Yeah, but this side right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not so loose for me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just give me a moment to get in there with you. Are just. Lucy goosey Okay, and relax. Okay, now. Drop your shoulders. Oh my God! <laughs> That's legit! That's legit. Wow! This has what we call a Thompson drop piece. That's not, the Thompson's not the important part. The part is, important is, I'm gonna set some tension underneath his pelvis. I control that tension with a knob, and I'm gonna set it to where I feel like it's the right amount of pressure to get some motion, again, movement,
to his SI joint. So let your cheeks loose for me. Relax your shoulders. Beautiful. Let that loose. Is that uncomfortable at all, Mike? No. No. So then I'm going to do a technique on his knees. And, and what this does, this restores a little bit of, and, I, and I, you never hear me use this word, alignment. But it's a, basically a bone setting technique. And I do it on both sides of his knee. And I have a knee issues also. When I have this done by the other docs in the office, it's amazing how much freer my knee will move. So it's, a bo it's not a manipulation, it's a bone setting technique. Beautiful. Now I'm going to bring you back up. So I want you to relax, let everything loose for me, Mike. Let it go. So I'm trying to get a little bit of mobility to his ankle and also his his hips, okay? Let it go. There we go. Pull yourself back up a little bit more. Yeah, now straighten your leg out for me. So, why did you start coming every two weeks or three? We, did, we, did we play with that frequency once a month, once every three weeks, once every two weeks? Why do you do that? What happens if you don't do come in every couple weeks? Um, I feel the stiffness. Uh -huh. And the mobility's down, especially playing golf. Play, oh, is that right? Okay. Yes, okay. very okay. much so. Yeah, yeah. So for some people, you know, we get them as best we can, and they've had a condition that requires what I call a tune-up, or sometimes even people come in for performance-enhancing office visits, right? They don't have pain or symptoms, but they want to be functioning at an optimal level. They want to be a Ferrari, if you will, right? There are other people who, and, and I would put you in that boat, and I'd actually put myself in that boat, uh, and it doesn't have to be age-related. It could be from a car accident. It could be from a sports injury. We've been injured in the past, and we've lost some sort of function, and if we don't take care of that function, if we don't tune, that, tune up that dysfunction, um, it will eventually deteriorate, right? And, right. And, uh, and we won't be able to play golf like we like playing. Exactly. Yeah, so let, me, let, your, let your leg loose for me. There you go. Hands on your belly. Hands in your belly, and then look down. That away. So here we are. We're in a. We're. I know the table looks the same, but again, it's got the bells and whistles underneath. So this is a cervical drop piece right here, and this is terrific. Uh, as I said before, you know, the first 20 years of my career, we didn't have tables like this, but the last 10 we've had, the last 15 we've had one like this, and what it allows us to do is take care of people who are uncomfortable with the eye of getting uh, the idea of getting a traditional cervical spine adjustment where we crack their neck or if they have such restriction in their mobility that you've got to start from somewhere and this is the starting point right uh, so it's great and again you'll hear a little bit of a noise and it's just the mechanics of the table letting loose so let your shoulders go Mike that away. You know. so again we adjust the tension to the individuals Needs, yeah. Let your shoulders loose again. Nice breath in. Let it relax. Drop your shoulders. Beautiful. Mike, is that comfortable? Yes. Yeah. So, there. If you have a fear of getting adjusted, this is a way to overcome that fear and solve the problem for you. Very nice. And the same exists in the thoracic spine, too. <laughs> Again, we adjust the tension appropriately. And what we're looking for are those areas that are not moving very well. Beautiful. Breath in. Let it go. Very nice. One more, take a breath in, let it go. Yeah, see, I need a little bit more tension there. Another breath in, let it go. Relax your shoulders. The breath in, in, and let it go. 
And I think if we get motion in his mid, his upper thoracic spine, which he really needs, it, it helps with the mobility of his neck, okay? So let's have this, and I want you to come over towards me, okay? Yeah, now let that go for me. Did you see anybody in the office before you saw Art? Um, you, when you had the um, Rolfing. The young lady here? Yes. Laura, yeah. Let this loose for me. But from the time you came in here, we were working on soft tissue mobility, weren't we? Right. Yeah. Beautiful. And then come on over this way, Mike. And then again, let that loose for me. Just let it roll back. There you go. One shoulder feel tighter to you than the other? Um, you, some, you know, sometimes, depending on what I do. Uh-huh. Just relax your shoulders. And put your hands on your belly button. And beautiful. Now we're going to do her mid-back. And what again, what I'm looking for are those areas that are not moving properly, right? So take a nice breath in for me, Laura. And let it go. Beautiful. Nice deep breath in for you. And let it go. So lift the bad arm up in the air for me. Go ahead, lift it up. Okay. Any discomfort there at all? S slight. A little when bit I get there. to this point. point. Okay. Let me have it back like this, and relax. Oh, this is where. Remember the other day I. You what? Went ow ow ow. So, so hold on for one sec. Yeah, but the the adjustments when we crack your neck or crack your mid back. Oh, that's comfortable, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, when you did it the other day, it was because you were finding out where the pain was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Going to lift up for me again and back down. So I want you to slide over towards me so I can get your shoulder hanging over the edge of it. There you go. Okay. So let that nice and loose and relax. Let it go. Let me have it. Let it go. So again, just trying to get some mobility into this shoulder and her acromioclavicular joint or AC joint. Relax that. That doesn't hurt like it did the other day, does it? No, I was it? about to yeah. say, the other day you couldn't do this. Yeah, well, you wouldn't let me have it either the other day. <laughs> okay, good. If you have any questions, give us a call. If you're yeah. having a shoulder problem or neck problem, give us a call. Thank you.